today was hard. I would say my hardest day. I was a little lightheaded or dizzy, but I'm hanging in there. I'm hanging in there. A way for you to get healthier that doesn't cost you money, in fact, saves you money, is fasting. So right now I'm doing day one of a four day water fast with just organic Himalayan sea salt. And uh, I'm about to go to the soccer game here. We're from Germany, we're playing a uh, uh, big soccer team and uh, pretty excited to see what happens. Listen up. See, occasionally when people get vaccines, their bodies just might not feel so good afterwards. But guess what? There's a way to help them feel better and it doesn't cost anything at all. It's called fasting, which means not eating for a little while, but not just any fasting. We're talking about not eating for 72 hours, which is three whole days. That might sound like a long while, but it can really help your body. When you fast for that long, something really cool happens inside of your body. It's like your body goes into superhero mode. There's this process called apophagy, which is like a special cleaning process. It helps your body get rid of any bad stuff caused by the vaccine, especially those spike proteins from jabs during lockdowns. Apophagy is like the garbage collector of your body. It cleans up all the mess and helps your body work better. It gets rid of damaged cells, especially the ones that got messed up by the jab. And it even helps your body make new cells to fight off sickness. Now, there's this doctor named Dr. Ely, who's a big expert on fasting. He says if someone has a bad reaction to a jab, they should try fasting for three days, once a month. That's like taking a break from eating from Friday to Sunday. And after doing this for a few months, Dr. Ely says people start feeling much better. So fasting isn't just about not eating. It's like giving your body a chance to clean up and get more powerful. And the best part doesn't cost anything. And it can really help people feel better after getting a jab. So the next occasion you hear about fasting, remember, it's like giving your body a superpower boost to fight off any bad stuff. So right now I'm about 46 hours into my four day fast, which is about a 96 hour fast. And I'm only drinking water and I'm only having organic Himalayan salt, which is good because it gives you some electrolytes. That being said, I overall feel fine. This morning when I woke up for about five or 10 seconds, it sort of felt like a little mini panic attack. I was like, almost felt like I was suffocating. I was so hungry. But through this experience, you may have heard people say this where it's like your relationship with food. And I'm beginning to see, you know, did I have a food addiction or what was my relationship with food? And now I'm feeling fine. But like, if you look down here, you know, I'm at a hotel, people are eating. But the thing is, is that we could all generally get by eating less. You know, like you hear like about longevity, people that eat less, maybe they're living longer. I've realized now that I could actually get by eating much less. And I realize now that I have more, you know, control over what I drink and eat and what I do in general. I feel like my conviction and my confidence and my discipline has gotten a lot better. Also, for those of you who like to practice meditation, last night I took a moment to practice meditation and I felt like I had the deepest moment, one of the deepest moments, if not the deepest moment I've ever had practicing meditation. I love meditation. I've gone to Kyoto, Japan, where I basically learned a little bit about meditation. And uh, it's just something that I generally love to do and I would recommend for you to do. I think it helps with your mental health I think it helps with anxiety and I think it helps with, you know, generally just feeling more present and being there. And also I think it helps against fighting dementia. So anyway, here's Heidelberg. This is Heidelberg uh, behind me. Heidelberg, the famous scientist Otto Warburg. He studied here briefly. And there's also the Max Planck Institute famous. These are like famous people, I guess you could say in science and medicine. So the city has uh, quite a bit of history and culture and a famous university for medical I guess, research and studies. So or, yeah, so I'm just tapping in and we'll do this again tomorrow. So right now it's about 73 hours on this water fast with just organic Himalayan sea salt. And today was hard or not too bad, but I would say my hardest day maybe. This afternoon carrying my daughter's stroller up the stairs was a little bit uh, challenging. And maybe once or twice I got up, like I was a little lightheaded or dizzy but I'm hanging in there, I'm hanging in there and I really wanted to do at least 72 hours and I made it, but 
We'll see if I make it to 96 hours, which is tomorrow at 9 p.m. So now my wife is joining me for the last 36 hours of the fast. I'm getting her into it, or she was already into it also, I think, but she's just a great supportive wife. And I'm gonna go have a hot water tea with her. And now that our daughter's asleep, and then go in the shower and take a hot shower and try to get some sleep. Hopefully our daughter doesn't wake us up. My daughter's about a year and a half and my mental clarity feels good. And I'm really examining the psychological aspect of eating and my relationship with food. And it's been great introspection doing this, but it is, it is tough. It is tough and I'm feeling it. My wife was telling me that today I was going a little slow, whereas normally I go very fast walking. But um, I would say light exercise is the most for me at this point. I mean, there are guys who have a lot of practice doing this, so they can do much more. But for me, uh, this is my first one trying to do a 96 hour fast. So I'll uh, do another video tomorrow and hopefully I can achieve my goal of 96 hours. But if I can, I'm happy I still did at least 72 hours. All right, guys. So right now it's been about 85 hours. I'm a little bit scruffy, sort of just going with the flow of this like detox. Also a mental detox, I feel like, but I'm gonna shave tonight. Finally tonight, I'm gonna eat dinner. I got about 11 hours to go to complete a 96 hour fast. Today, I feel much better. I really do. I don't know what happened, but I woke up feeling much better and like I can actually finish this, which I'm pretty relieved. I mean, I was hearing people like, you know, give up on doing these longer fasts. So we'll see if I can finish this. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Right now I'm in a sauna. If it wasn't such a rainy day, I would have been able to show you Heidelberg better. We're on a mountain right now, a hill. Got my water here. And uh, yeah, I came here to the sauna to do some, uh, maximize the, the benefit of this uh, fast. By the way, the sauna felt amazing. Now I'm about to just go take a little bit of a cold shower, lay down, go for a little walk later. Just take it easy until dinner tonight. Let's see if I make it. It's about eight more hours. So I'm just a few minutes away from completing a 96 hour fast. It feels amazing uh, to see my, my mind, your mind is so powerful over your body and to see the potential of it has just been an incredible experience. And um, the whole evaluating the relationship with food uh, I'm at an Iranian restaurant right now in Heidelberg, Germany. I got married in Heidelberg and I was going to have my dinner here, but they didn't have enough capacity. Uh, there's my daughter. She's sleeping. My wife just completed a 36 hour fast. She joined me for the last part. I'm really proud of her to get healthier. And now the next big challenge is me eating again because it's Tuesday night, I have not eaten since Friday night, and introducing food again, it's important to do it carefully. So I'm not going to eat that much, but I hope I don't hurt myself. So let's see what happens. Okay, so this is my first bite in 96 hours. I've been hearing stories of people like hurting themselves, but let's see what happens. Dinner party. <laughs> That felt amazing. All right. Yes. Feels amazing uh, achieving this goal. And uh, yeah, I highly encourage all of you to do this. But first get your blood work done and talk to a doctor.